So when Michelle uh, so kindly invited me to come here, um, I didn't know you were supposed to write one poem, so I wrote three. <laughs> and um, this first one is for Michelle, because uh, it's all her fault. <laughs> I'll take it. And it's called Transparent. Ambivalence is my air, self-hatred my water, oppression my earth. Fire burning elemental through these sorrows, I'm awkward, broken, wearing stiletto heels of arrogance to hide my fear. Some of the cracks in my soul emanate light, which others love, and I usually can't see because of my debris. Suspicious of happiness, I see as a con game of stupidity, while scorching earth, oblivious to the depths I demand. Getting close to me is breathing mile-high air with headaches, dizziness, and nausea. I mean well, but sometimes I'm just mean. <laughs> Used to think I was a pathetic victim, lately understanding I just ain't that sweet. <laughs> Arsenic from a smelting company called Asarco, now out of business. We were reassured by government offices that all of the affected dirt had been removed, which is a lie. I know none of you are surprised. When I first came here and planted, my bare hands cracked and bled so I did not put in vegetables. Five years later, the earth is still not safe to eat from. I've given up on sweetening this soil, grow my food in pots from China, which are possibly also poisonous. With bags of dirt I've bought at SARS for $2.99 each. Who knows what is in that twiggy mix? Though our air and water and wind have also come from Hanford and Chernobyl and China. This is the way of life. Rain becomes lakes, becomes snow. Tonight we all share our breath, wetted by space. My cells are shedding with yours. We're one being of dirt and sludge, loon cries and river stones. We cannot buy freedom from our joined fates. I water my gardens with rinsed dairy containers as milk helps purify soil. This autumn, I'll put in spinach as I just read that it will pull out heavy metals, though it can't be eaten or composted, as it will be toxic. Which earth do I send this unholy produce to? Which ocean? which Indian reservation, which desert. I also water my plants with tears. In my land, there are no deer, no beaver, no eagles. But you have a choice of 11 different used car lots. We are warned not to let children or pets play in the grass or to go barefoot. All of the fish and turtles in a nearby lake are dead and gone. There's a number you can call on a yellow sign if you want to know more. The earth where I live is poison. When I touch her, my hands bleed. <laughs> Quivering night skies drum earth into puddles, clearly beautiful as air is after rain. <laughs> So this poem was a really incredible breakthrough for me to recognize that the, the earth is uh, not just Menominee country, eh? <laughs> and it's called Danke Rochelshausen, and I actually wrote it in German, but my accent is really bad, so I'm not going to read it in German. So, under our feet, tree roots passionately embrace earth. Hold all of our lives together as one. I lean into a birch, listening to water which has flown in the sky, float over these stones, return to fly again, longer than we remember. Above us, in new spring leaves, birds wildly sing of this beauty, 
rippling our souls, expanding to disappear with light after rain. Each breeze a message from creation to move softly, kindly through our days, to give ourselves moments for a dance of water bugs, waltzing in reflections, to lose our minds in small black tadpoles wiggling in shallows. Nothing is more important than the thunder and moments of sun which call us awake to these lessons of earth. She holds us. All we are belongs to her. Thank you.